I have a pretty stunning clip here for you from Republican Representative Bob Good, who is addressing the possibility of a government shutdown and says something that is so much him telling on himself and admitting why he and the modern Republican Party should not be getting voted into positions of power. He makes that case better than anyone with one particular thing that he says. And this is within the context of the uh, season we're entering into of budget talks and appropriation uh, appropriations bills. And if a budget can't be agreed upon between Democrats and Republicans, of course, there will be a government shutdown. And so that's kind of what is being discussed here. But take a look at what he says while discussing it. Uh, so let me answer that at the end. I, I do not, uh, I don't believe that you're looking at a government shutdown. I think what you'd be looking at is, um, as, as I think Bob, uh, Representative Good and Representative Rosendale and others have mentioned, you'll see some, some aspects, some of, the, some of the 12 appropriations bills come out in what we call a minibus. And then you'll see a short-term continuing resolution to continue spending. I am not worried about a, uh, uh, a government shutdown at this point. I think that they'll, they'll continue on um, and then to try to take it, run it out till December, to be honest with you. But, but uh, that's my own perspective. I know I'm not speaking for everybody else. Bob, did you want to answer? Yeah, I would and then here's Bob Good. add to that we should not fear a government shutdown. Right. Most of what we do up here is bad anyway. Most of what we do up here hurts the American people. When we do stuff to the American people by promising to do things for the American people, essential operations continue. 85%. Mo 85%, as Mr. Biggs has just uh, given me that number, continues. Most of the American people won't even miss if the government is shut down temporarily. But our speaker has an opportunity to be a transformational historical speaker that stare down the Democrats, that stare down the free spenders, that stare down the president and said, no, we're going to do what the American people elected us to do. And the House is going to say no. We're going to pass a good Republican bill out of the House and force the Senate and the White House to accept it or we're not going to move forward. So the really notable part is, quote, most of what we do up here is bad anyway. Now, we're going to hear a lot of, similar with the debt ceiling conversation, uh, with this conversation as well as we uh, cover these negotiations, we'll hear the talking point of the crazy spending Democrats and we're not going to let them be fiscally irresponsible any longer. And I will say again, Democrats have a better record when it comes to fiscal responsibility in recent memory. When it comes to debt and deficit, better record. While overseeing undeniably last hundred years, better economic indicators under democratic leadership. So in every which way, these talking points are just not accurate. And I'll say to Bob Good, and then we'll get to the really notable statement that he made. If you care about the economy doing better, just by pretty much every economic metric that we use, if you care about having a more fiscally responsible president and Congress, then just based on the objective metrics we use to measure some of these things to discuss some of these things you should advocate for yourself to be voted out and democrats to be voted in that's just the reality bob um but maybe everything you do up there is bad anyway and maybe that means you should resign if you think your job your position of power is just something that ruins everything can you leave the position of power and give it to someone who thinks they can actually do some good stuff with it and this is a part of the conservative ideology of the government is fundamentally incapable of properly serving the people and thus a broken government is sort of advantageous to that narrative and thus assisting in leaving broken or breaking the government is advantageous politically to the people running on the government being broken and unfixable and all we should do is go in there and gut it even further and it reminded me of this compilation put together by the recount of Republicans response to the Nashville mass shooting. I think with respect to any um, le discussion of legislation, it it's premature. I think the things that have already been done have gone about as far as we're going to with gun control. You can't solve everything with legislation. Let's not get into politics. All right, let's not get into emotion because emotion feels good, but emotion doesn't solve problems. We're not gonna fix it. Criminals are gonna be criminals. I think with respect to any um, we're not going to fix it. Legislation can't solve this. Sorry. Oh, what are we going to do? That is the uh, idea that comes from 
that is built on the foundation of believing that everything the federal government does has to be bad. It can't address problems. And that's just so black and white, so wrong. We've seen things and they admit to some things that the government does really well. Medicare, Social Security, super popular progressive programs that Republicans in their day, or I should say the conservative ideology and whatever party that manifested, fought these types of programs every step of the way. And now they'll turn around and say, okay, yeah, Medicare and Social Security, those are good, you're right. But everything else is horrible. Maybe it wouldn't be so horrible if you would stop <laughs> blocking good policies from being implemented and stop having this attitude of everything we do is bad anyway, so why even try? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.